Hi preschoolers, it's Miss Shauna here and we're gonna cook today. So, what are we gonna make? Well, I'm gonna tell you. But first, before we start cooking, what do we always have to do? Wash our hands. So I'm gonna wash my hands right now. So now they're all nice and clean, so we can get started. Okay, so we're gonna make Miss Shauna's famous tomato sauce, okay? So let's get started. Okay, so I have a knife. I don't want you kids using a knife. This is for your parents, okay? So we need a red pepper and a yellow pepper a red onion. I use, you can use any kind of tomato, red, crushed, whatever you want to use. I prefer to use red pack to make my tomato paste, my tomato sauce. We also need tomato paste. You use what you can find. This is the one that I found, so this is the one I'm using. I also add some mushrooms to my tomato sauce. Okay, so I'm gonna bring it down a little so that you can see what I'm doing down here, okay? I hope you can see. It's kind of hard. Hold on. Can you see now? Let's see. Oh, sorry guys. Here we go. All right, so let's get this out of the way. And this out of the way. So what I do first is I take my red pepper and I slice the top. Okay, see what's in there? We don't use what's in there, right? So I slice it again. Okay, and there's seeds in there. We don't put the seeds in. So what do I do? Is I take a bag that I got from the store and I put it down here. And all I do is I take my hand and I take this, and I'll put it in front so you can see, and I take it out. See? You take all that out. I bang it. Make sure all the seeds are out, right? And I do it with the other side. Get that all out. Make sure it's all out. Bang that one. And that's all out. So then, that's done. So what I do is I take this and I kind of slice it again. See if you can see it better like that. And I slice it. You don't have to make them too small because in the next thing I'll show you. And then I just take it like this. And this is what your mom or your dad or your nannies can help you with, with the knife part. And you slice it down. Then I put it in a bowl or whatever in here. And then I put that to the side and I take this one and I do the same thing with that. Do the same thing. And then I take this and I throw it in the bowl to the side and I put that to the side. Then I take my yellow one and I do the same exact thing. This will give the sauce more flavor. Okay? And again, I'm going to slice it because again, we have seeds, right? And who wants seeds? No, we don't want seeds in the sauce. Get all the seeds out of there. Again, I'm taking my hand, take it all out, see? Oh, and put it in front of you. And I bang on it and make sure I get all the seeds, and I did. And I take this side and I do the same thing. And I bang on it again. And, oh, I see a seed. I got it. 
And there's one more right there. So I take that and I put it to the side. So then I cut this one. Oh, one flew out. Oh, and I see this side. So cut this out of it, throw that to the side. We don't want that. Kind of fix them all up there. And again, make sure you're with a parent or your nanny, your grandparents can help you do this part. They're very easy to cut through, so you don't really need that sharp, sharp knife. And then you put it to the side. Then, this is a red onion. So we have to peel all this off. This is how you do it. You take this side and you cut it. You also take this side and you cut it. And you see, you have your peel. There you go. Then you start peeling around and you take the skin off. And you guys can do that because that's easy to do. But I would advise, you don't have to chop these up very bit, little. Okay, cut it in half with your parent again. Or nanny or someone can do for you. And you just slice it so ever easy. Oh, and if it gets like that, I take that and I just get rid of that. Because onions can be kind of slimy. And then I just go like this, cut it in half. And I add it to the peppers. Then I'll take this one and I start cutting. Be very careful with the knives. That's why I always tell you to have a parent do it. Especially with the onions are a little bit tougher to cut. And then I add it again to the peppers. There we go. So that's all done. So I take my knife and I put it to the side. Okay? So. The next thing we do is, first of all, we have to add some oil. See the oil? Okay. And this is our, this is the pan. This is the pot I'm using to make the sauce. Okay. So I'm just going to add a little oil to the pot. Very, you know, just to cover it, just so that it gives it a little bit of a, nothing sticks. Then I have my crushed tomatoes. Okay, I'll take my can opener, put it here so you can see, and have your parent open this. You can use fresh tomatoes too to make your, your sauce. That takes a lot longer to do. You open up the can. You don't have to open it up all, all the way, but I put that to the side. And I open up another one. I'm making a big one because I'm gonna give it to, some to my dad. He likes the sauce, so I like to give him some. And I'm probably gonna give some to my daughters because they like it also. And I like it too, so I want some for myself. So I put this one to the side. And I take this one and I open this. Woo, that one had a little kick to it. We having fun, kids? We're gonna have fun soon, I'll tell you why. Because all this is gonna get mixed together. That's gonna be the fun part. So, 
Now that they're all open, I have a blender. Now I can move this out of the way. We don't need this anymore. So I'll put that away. So I have my blender here, okay? And I'm gonna plug it in. Let's hope it's off. Let's try and get the wire out of the way. There we go. I'm gonna take this off, move that a little bit. So I take this off, that's the top to the blender. And then I take this and I add this to it. Oh, this one came off, which is okay. And I put that to the side in there. So then what we do is we take what we chopped up. Can you see all that in there? So I'm gonna take some of it, I'm gonna add it to this stuff over here. And then, put that down, I have mushrooms. Remember, we had the mushrooms? So I'm gonna take some of these mushrooms, and I'm gonna add them to this. Then I'm gonna take my top, put it back on, because we don't want anything to spill out, right? Put the top on. And then what I'm gonna do first, can you see? Is chop it all up. It's chopping. Can you see? To the pot. We're going to take off the top first. Okay? We're going to take it off and then we're going to dump it right into the pot. Watch. See how it's all liquefied? Wow. Okay, so I'm going to put this back for a second and I got to turn on the stove. That's oh, weird. put it on a medium heat for now. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this off again. We're gonna add this again. Put it to the side. Again, we're gonna add some more of our peppers and onions. Okay. And then we're gonna add some more mushrooms. Cause who doesn't like mushrooms? I love mushrooms. They're so tasty. Put our top back on. Okay. Put this back on. I'll move it over. I should have moved it over before I added everything so you can see it blend again. Okay, so 
then again, we're gonna have to pour it into the pot. Ooh, look at that going. Yummy, 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 yummy. Put it back on the stove. Then, take this off again. And one more to go. Put it to the side. I'm gonna add the last of our peppers and onions. Right in there go. Put that in the sink. Then, let's see, it's not open yet. I'd like to add some oregano. I should have had this ready. I thought I opened it. But I guess I didn't. Okay. That's off. And I add some oregano. And oregano gives it flavor. And I'm gonna add some more mushrooms. Put the top on. Put the top on. of it to the sauce over here that's cooking and I'm gonna bring you over here guys because then we start cooking over here okay we don't need that anymore I'm gonna unplug it okay um I need a paper towel wipe my hand off so let me see if I can bring you over here I can place you so that you can see. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see. Oh, let me do this. Can you see? Oh, you can. Maybe. No. I could. Maybe on the stove. Here we go. Okay, now you're on the stove with me. Okay, so. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stir this. Okay, and it's nice and thick, but we haven't finished yet. Okay, so then what I have to do next is I have to go over and get some water. So what I do is I take one of these, the crushed tomatoes that we used, the red pack, and I fill it with water. Just to get all the stuff that was left behind, and I throw it into the blender for all the seasonings that were left behind in there. And then I add it, one cup, right in there. So that was one down, okay? So you need to add another cup. So 
that's what I'm doing now. I'm getting all the leftover stuff from the can. And I'm filling it up. So I'm gonna add another can of water to my sauce. Okay, another can down. So that I'm gonna get the last can And I'm filling it up with water. I'm getting all the stuff off of it. Because you want all that delicious flavor in there for your sauce. Okay, so then once that's, that's actually filled to the top. Okay. So then, what else do I need? I need that up. Okay. Okay, then I just need a drink because I'm hot. Ginger ale. So what I'm going to add now is some sugar. Because the sugar actually takes the acid that's in the sauce and it takes it out. So that's what I do. I add sugar. I'm gonna open up the sugar. I take the lid off and I add my sugar. And you can, uh, I add a lot of sugar just because for me, I don't, acid doesn't do well with my stomach. So then that's all I do is I add some sugar. I let that soak in, right? So then I put that away. And then I have to add some salt make it a little bit more tastier. You add as much or as little as you want. It depends if you're a salt -a freak or not. What I do is I add salt and you can taste it. And if you feel like you need more salt to it, then you can add as you go. That's all. So then what I do as I stir it all together. Ooh, I'm going to show you in a minute. So it's still, I still have an ingredient to add. But this is what it looks like. I'm going to show you closer, kids. Can you see? That's what the sauce looks like. Nice and smooth, okay? And this is what it looks like when I'm stirring. If you can see. See, you stir the salt and the sugar in and it will disintegrate. So you won't even really, you won't taste the sugar. And I doubt you'll even taste the salt that's in there because it all disintegrates. So then I take my spoon and I take it out, okay? I put it down put it over here and I'll put you guys back down over here okay so then I have to cover it back up okay so I turn it up just a tad okay because you need to get it to a kind of a boil you want it to start boiling before you uh, turn it down low to a simmer okay so I do that I need to add some tomato paste so I'm going to open up my tomato paste with my can opener. Okay, then I have to take the lid off again. And then I'm going to add my tomato paste. See, your tomato paste makes your sauce a little bit thicker. See how, look at that, it comes out in a clump. But when you put it in there, it'll soften up. Once the, your sauce starts heating up, it'll dissolve and make your sauce thicker. And depending on how much water you add um, to your sauce, is how many cans of the tomato paste. You, sometimes I only need to add one can of this to my sauce. Sometimes I have to add two. 
it all depends and on how long you cook your sauce that depends you know you could cook your sauce for a half hour you could cook it for an hour I cook my sauce usually about three hours just because I like to have all the flavors make sure that they all get in there that's how I like to cook my sauce so I cook my sauce for a good three hours but depending on how you like it you can eat it in a half hour to an hour two hours whatever depends on how you like it and I'm still adding some it's hard to get this tomato paste out it's sticky very sticky see once you put it in the hot sauce it comes less sticky see how it comes off your spoon Ooh. and you can just stir it around in there and it comes off pretty quickly once it's in there I like to make sauce. That's one of my favorite things to do. It's one of my favorite meals. I like pasta with it. Sometimes I make a meat sauce, um, depending on what um, I feel like doing that day. If I feel like just making meat sauce, I'll make meat sauce. If I don't feel like it, I just make my regular sauce. Depends on the day, kiddos. But maybe next time I'll show you how to make the meat sauce. So, I don't take water for this. We don't fill any water in here at all. So then, what I do is I take my big spoon and I squish it around. Because look, it comes up in big clumps. That's because the sauce is not hot enough. You have to make sure your sauce is hot enough so this dissolves. And once it dissolves, your sauce will be hot enough and you can turn it down to a nice little simmer. It's already dissolving. Mm -mm. I'm gonna have a little taste is what I'm going to do. And let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Cheers. Mm. Oh my God, that's so good right now. Oh my God, that's so good. I wish you guys were here to taste it and smell it. It's delicious. Mm, my God, that's so good. Yeah. You can taste all, you can taste the peppers. You can taste the mushrooms. Oh, this is one thing that hopefully when we get back, we can make together. Because it doesn't take that long. So, I hope that you get a chance to make this. I'm gonna put this top back on again to keep the heat in. So, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed making sauce, Miss Shauna sauce, because that's the way I make mine all the time. So I hope you enjoyed this class, and I hope to see you soon, and I hope that you had a great day today, and enjoy the sunshine, guys. Miss you, bye. Mwah.